right. Uh, Trinity is, uh, today I want to talk to you about Trinity. Trinity is a client for the Ethereum network, similar to Geth or Parity. We are, however, in an alpha stage. Don't use this in production yet. Um, this is a project I started around two years ago. Um, I, we had our first public alpha release earlier this year, and in August we had our first successful sync with the Ethereum network. Here's some numbers. Uh, we've got three full-time engineers on the project. I have put two years of my life into this, and it takes about 10 or more days to sync with the network, which is slow. Um, right now we're working on a couple of things. Um, main efforts are on making synchronization faster. Um, the research team from Taipei is working on implementation of the beacon chain in our base EVM library. And today I want to talk to you about our plugin API, which is the cool part as far as I'm concerned. A good way to think about plugins is that they're similar to extensions for a web browser. They're like a native way to extend the functionality of the client. And rather than I figured the best way to talk to you about what these can do is to talk about some use cases that we foresee happening. Uh, one of these is application-specific JSON RPC endpoints. Uh, a lot of applications have a lot of business logic tied up with them. Uh, often the developers of the applications or protocols know how those things are supposed to work. And being able to expose these at a high level uh, through the JSON RPC API um, uh, it's just a better user experience, at least that's what we think. So we are, uh, one of the use cases we see is the ability to expose JSON RPC, new JSON RPC endpoints to your users through our client. Another thing that, um, I don't know if I made this word up, but protocol daemons. A lot of protocols have a need for like an off-chain actor to perform some actions, things like that. And these are often shift, shipped around as their own binary and you have to link it up to a running Ethereum node. Uh, we foresee, packaging these up as a plugin as like a much better user experience. Anybody who's already running the Trinity client, it's like going to be a one-click install type thing, and they can onboard to your protocol. And what we're shooting for is entire, the ability to implement entire protocols altogether. So we're going to be looking at whether or not we can implement the beacon chain using this API. Uh, similarly, at some point here, I suspect Swarm and Whisper will be on the table for plugins. And I would love to get even broader beyond our own personal ecosystem and get things like IPFS. But this is the one that I'm most excited about. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, this thing showed up on Reddit. Um, one of the members of this community uh, made this. This is an in-terminal wallet that has like a Cursus-style interface. And when myself and my team saw this, we got really excited because for a long time, I thought UX is always going to be in the browser, user land is always in the browser. And while end users are not likely to use terminal applications, there are a whole suite of use cases that are absolutely suitable for a Cursus style interface. And we think that there's a lot that can be done here, and we want to enable that, that through plugins. Uh, we are dogfooding this API pretty heavily. We have converted a bunch of our internal things to B plugins. We are considering and, and we have the idea of, of converting our entire synchronization to be a plugin. So uh, this is an API that's new. It's an alpha. We got the documentation up today. Um, I encourage you to go check it out. Uh, but now I want to do something completely different. So the original idea for this talk was for me to tell you a story about Trinity, how it got to where it was today, and where it's going. Um, but as I started working on that, I had a hard time digging my personal life out of that story. All of you have a story, how you got here today, how you got into blockchain, um, why you do this work. Um, and I want to tell you my story. I've spent three years of my life doing this, three years of code, Three years building and creating, three years steeped in the uncertainty. Unsure if I'm making a difference, but desperately wanting things to be different. I'm back at the beginning now. It's 2013, my newborn son takes his first breath, while the CPU on my laptop spits out one more SHA-256, overheats, and burns itself to death. The Silk Road is open now. The Dread Pirate Robert shows us something new. My mind expands while the web contracts. Satoshi has given us a glimpse of a world without walls, but the walled gardens continue to grow. My son is one now. 
It's late in the addict in me main lines. Yet another blog post about this Ethereum thing. I spend money I don't have on an idea I don't understand. But a small seed is planted in my mind. My mind, the part of myself I hold most dear, powerful, flawed, beautiful, but racked with unspoken pain, crumbling and falling to pieces. My son is two now. The seed lies dormant. Darkness encroaches. My demon is coming. My demon has no name, and it destroys everything. Everything that has come before, consuming me from the inside, leaving me hollow, broken, the shell of a person. And like so many times before, I could fall into its embrace while it tears my world to pieces. Give in and let go while it burns everything I love, everything I hold dear, my marriage, my life, my son. My son is three now, and my daughter is born. My demon is at bay, and my demon has a name. Its name is depression. And in naming it, I can know it, and in knowing it, I can fight it. But the fight is brutal, and I am in pieces. But I put the pieces back together. I will not let this define me. And the seed is sprouting now. The seed is growing, spreading its roots, taking form, and I'm at the frontier. The network takes its first breath, and my mind breathes it in. I work, I build. I create, but I am uncertain. Is this real? Is this the force of change that I've yearned for? Can we really build this new thing? We're few, but we are strong. We know it can be better. And for the first time, I feel empowered. We are in this together, a community. Distributed but connected, we create fulcrums with game theory and economics. We create levers with protocol and code. We want to move the world. My son is four now. He is strong-willed and kind. My daughter is one now. She screams less and smiles more. And I am remade. The molecules and memories remain, but the whole is something new. And I start work on something new. I work alone. I am isolated, but I am inspired. I am building a lever. I want to move things. I want to make a difference, but I am afraid. Am I an imposter? I am uncertain. I work, I build, I create. Is this real? I think it's real. It feels so real. My son is five now. He starts kindergarten. When he grows up, he wants to be a ninja, programmer, trash truck driver, spy. <laughs> Literally. My daughter is two now. She is joy incarnate and an unstoppable force of nature when things don't go her way. My demon is always with me. I will never be rid of it. But now I know it. I medicate it. It is always there. I will never be rid of it. I work. I build. I create. There are six of us now, and I no longer work alone, but I am often lonely. But we thrive. We create and build together. We have a vision. We are strong. The lever we're building is taking shape. We can make a difference. We can build something new. We can build something better. But there's still work to be done. We work, we build, we create. Remote work has been harder than I ever expected it to be, but I have never felt so empowered as I do being part of this community. If you take anything away from this, it's that you're not alone and we are all in this together. Thank you. <laughs>